settle into your seat now in a more comfortable way in a way that feels relaxed and awake alert If it's helpful, you can take a couple of deep breaths. As you exhale, feeling that settling process. And just make any last minute adjustments you need in order to feel comfortable, relaxed, at ease, able to open opening in the body, opening in the mind. And our practice today will be a real heart opener as well. So gently closing the eyes and you might wish to place a hand over the center of your chest, touching into the heart center in your own body. When we meditate, we tend to at least begin the sit with some object in mind, something to focus on, something to uh, bring the attention to and gather the attention around so that we're less likely to get caught up in random thoughts, but more likely to stay present. And so for gratitude practice, and as we move through this guidance for gratitude, keep checking back in with your heart center. You'll notice as we go along that sensations may increase or change here. And so as you're settling the body into the seat you've taken, then just check in with the heart, the heart mind. This is a phrase we use sort of interchangeably, the heart-mind. Really two sides of the same coin. So thoughts that are present right now might be sparking some emotions or a mood state, or you may be in touch with the heart, the mood in the heart whatever feelings you might be feeling there today. And then there might be some thoughts about that. Or there might not be any cogent, clear thoughts or strong feelings, but just a subtle sensation. Resting the attention right there in the heart and seeing how it is, if it's restless or sluggish, if it feels hard or frozen, or if it's very open and tender and active. You may be able to feel some movement in the body right at this place. Maybe you can feel your physical heart beating, but you are also likely to feel a little bit of movement with the breath. A little expansion here in the chest as you breathe in. And then a little release back down again as you breathe out. Remembering that the heart center is also in the back. So you might actually be more aware of the heart, that space in between the shoulder blades in your back, upper back. What's it like to turn the attention toward this heart center in the upper back and chest? 
Can the shoulders relax here? Can the arms be at rest? You're just bringing some kind attention to how it is. Before we move into opening to gratitude, just wanting to be present to however things are. It's like this now in the heart. Can that be okay? Now coming back to the breath for a moment. And again, if you'd like to take in some full breaths here, you can. Or you can just tune into your body's natural breathing feeling that rise and fall, that exchange of oxygen and CO2. And let's just start with appreciation and gratitude for the breath, for this body's ability to breathe. Maybe you're having some breathing difficulties today, but even so, if you're here practicing your breathing. Clean air, functioning lungs, a full respiratory system. And a functioning nervous system to regulate it all. And you say, thank you, thank you for breathing. This automatic, reliable, consistent breathing available for your attention whenever you turn toward it. And continuing to allow the attention now to expand and spread throughout the whole body. Grateful for this sitting body or lying down if you're lying down. Appreciating the many systems that just like the breath, consistently automatically working. Just appreciating your ability to feel the body, whether you're sitting or lying down or in some other posture, being grateful that you can know how your body's positioned, this wonderful kinesthetic sensing power. Grateful for gravity so that you don't have to hold yourself down, but you can rest, rest in Earth's gravity. Let go and trust. Appreciating the part of your body that is also made up of Earth, the Earth element. It keeps you securely connected to the ground. Now you might tune in to how it is in the mind. And grateful for your ability to know that. 
that you don't have to be caught up in a daydream or a memory or a plan, but that simply by choosing to, you can turn your attention to the present moment and see thoughts arising and know the state of your own mind. And there might be lots of thoughts this morning. There might be lots of worries or confusions or agitation, or there could be ease and calm and just a few random thoughts popping up now and then. I'm grateful to be able to know how it is whenever you choose to. And bringing some appreciation to just this act of choosing to sit meditation. That it is a privilege to set aside some time, some few minutes or even an hour to practice. Not everybody has this privilege. Not everyone has circumstances in their lives that make it possible to sit quietly. And some people don't have the capacity of mind to focus in this way for even a couple breaths. So grateful for this practice right now. And then cast back in your mind and see when did you first become aware of meditation? Did someone encourage you to take a class? Who has made it possible for you to get to this moment and be meditating? Probably several people. So remembering those who have supported you along the way, or perhaps you live with someone who helps you make space for your practice. Grateful for the people who in your past or your present have supported you in some way to come to these practices to expand mindful awareness in your life. Hold that person or people in your heart and say thank you. Just notice how it feels to appreciate these people. And then in a very open, general way, just bringing to mind any and all reasons to be grateful this morning, things, people, circumstances, as though you're watching a, a big parade go by or a three ring circus or some kind of wide open sport. You're going to see a lot. Many things will come to mind. People that help you in big and small ways. Circumstances you're grateful for. Objects you own that you're grateful for. The tools that help you in your work the place you live, 
And then things that are perhaps not present in your life, things you no longer have or do, or people that you no longer have to be in relationship with. So it may you may be great, grateful for things you no longer have or do. Just see what comes to mind. Let it all make an appearance. Invite in reminders of what's good that you're thankful for. And just notice what feelings are arising as you do this. It may feel a little overwhelming. Now, if you are having trouble thinking of things that you're grateful for, don't worry. Don't get caught in a story about your worth or your ability or anything like that. Just be patient. It is possible to think of probably two or three things that you even have just the slightest little gratitude for. So don't spend any time judging if it's difficult to think of something. You may not be in a place where it's easy to feel grateful today, and that's okay. It's okay. But if you are feeling at all grateful for anything, just notice how that feels in your heart, in your body. And now just choose one thing, one thing. It could be tiny. It could be grateful for an extra hour that we got as we turned the clocks back last night. Or it could be a really big thing. You're grateful that you got that job you really wanted. One thing, just choose one thing and, and really bring it to mind. If it's a person, see the person in detail. If it's an event, a recent event, see if you can kind of bring it back into your memory in detail. If it's a circumstance in your life, like just I'm grateful for the town I live in, it's a great place to live, then, you know, start picturing all, all the details of that. And just keep kind of cycling it through. Letting it, don't strain or stress about it, but see how full the detail can be. Does this thing you're grateful for can you see it, hear it, maybe taste or smell it, <laughs> touch? I mean, what are the thoughts? What are the mental thoughts you associate with it? Just let it all, through all your sense memory or sense ability, really hold this thing that you're grateful for. Let awareness reveal it. And as you contemplate, notice this effect in your own body. See if you can actually feel thankfulness in the tissues, in the organs, in the systems of your body. See what emotions or mood states are evoked in the heart as you hold this person or thing in gratitude. How do you know that you're expressing appreciation? Does your breathing change? Is there an ease that comes into the body, a warmth or a vibration? However you're experiencing it, allow yourself to fully feel it. 
really feel it in your body. And now with another word of thanks, you can let this thing or person that you're grateful for go. And just notice how you feel. Now bring to mind a person that you really don't know very well. A service person, someone that you're connected to, or a group of people that you're connected to but don't know personally, whose work supports your life in some way. So someone who operates public transportation, a bus or a subway or a train, if that's how you travel, if it's someone like a farmer growing the food that you eat, or the delivery person, the, the transportation industry that brings the shipping company that brings you your goods, your food. You might be grateful for teachers in your public schools and independent schools. Maybe you are grateful for recently being able to vote and the people that supported you at your polling place the mail carriers, the janitorial staff, the hospital workers, the fishermen in the sea, the miners in the mines, service workers who support your life. Just choose one of these things. And say thank you, silently thanking, touching into your gratitude. Noticing how it feels in the heart, seeing if maybe, as my teacher Mark Nunberg likes to say, if this practice is the WD-40, loosening the tight screws of your heart. Can appreciation and being thankful make a difference in you right now? Not someday, not when you become a better person, but right now. This good heart, in this moment, capable of 
really being appreciative, understanding on a deep level that none of us got where we are right now alone. <clears throat> No matter how hard you've worked, how good you are at what you do, how kind and thoughtful you are to others, nobody does what they do, has what they have, is what they are, all by themselves. We've all become who we are together, each of us influencing directly or indirectly, the others. And even right now, as we sit and contemplate this, we are benefiting others. Grateful to be interconnected, grateful to be one of a collective body of beings, of human beings, and all sentient beings, grateful to be part of a circle, an unbroken network, grateful not to be alone. Even in moments of loneliness, even in moments of feeling misunderstood or disconnected or disregarded, still we are all interdependent. And just gratitude for our collective wisdom. Seeing if any thoughts or feelings of humility are arising in you. When we appreciate and we understand the power of gratitude, it's really humbling. And it can be a relief. So as we bring this time of gratitude practice to a close, I want to acknowledge with deepest gratitude and appreciation that I am facilitating this meditation sitting on the land of the Lene Lenape people I'm grateful to and honor these ancestors, these predecessors, and these native peoples who still live here on this land. And wherever you are, take a moment to remember and appreciate and say thank you to the original peoples of your land. Abiding in gratitude, extending grateful thanks to all beings everywhere, to all beings in front, 
to the right, all beings behind, to the left, gratitude and thanks to all beings above and below, to all beings all around in all directions I extend my thanks. May the benefits of this practice lift us all. May all beings everywhere be thankful, be well. Thank you for your practice this morning.